Did hell freeze over? There's good news at Microsoft. What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And you're not going to fucking believe this. There's actually good news coming from Microsoft. I know, I know. Don't let your mind get blown. It's not a fucking joke. Something good is fucking happening. Apparently, you know, that cream worked really well. You know, the burning sensation is down. And there's good news. So this is this has got to be like a coincidence, right? So apparently, the Xbox One is now in full production with an improved uh, CPU. Uh, basically, their uh, their marketing officer uh, Yushev Mendy basically came out and said that the Xbox One is in poor production with a last minute CPU boost, basically boosting it from 1.6 gigahertz to 1.75 gigahertz. That is a pretty damn good number to to improve something so close to the actual launch date of your new console. So you have to give them some kind of credit for that. I don't know if it was a production problem, and they said, okay, fine, we're gonna get some brand new chips. Fuck it all. But this is a good thing for the you know for the consumers. Now a lot of people have sent me messages and they're going, "All right, Xbox did something fucking awesome. Now it's time for you to get fucking Sony because they they fucked up and you know what I'm saying they can't have had the same you know, CPU performance that the Xbox One has." And that's not a hundred percent accurate. Uh, based on the, the information that I was able to find, uh, I went to the Sony website, looked up their tech specs, scoured the internet for everything that I could possibly find. And I was able to, to find out that the that the PlayStation 4's estimated uh, CPU is 1.6 gigahertz. And again, this is an estimate, so there's no way to know if this is 100% true. But I would hope they would tell us the the actual up to date information uh, at the Tokyo Game Show because they're running out of fucking time to give us all the final details. And so is Microsoft. So uh, right now they're being very tight-lipped about everything that, that may be right or wrong with their actual system. Um, uh, when, when I did a comparison chart and I actually looked up the comparison chart uh, from uh, PS4 to Xbox One, I was actually able to see some of the similarities and some of the differences in their systems. So uh, basically if you look at the, the PlayStation 4, you'll see that it has you know the same uh, type of RAM. Well, actually, the PlayStation 4 RAM is just a little bit better. They have uh, eight gigabytes of uh, GDR5, and they have you know DDR3. That that's a good you know RAM jump. And then you look at the CPUs, and then you have that 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 margin that may be different from 1.6 to 1.75. And then you know saying so you look at the uh, the GPU, and then you look at you know they're pretty much the same, except for you know the PlayStation specs are almost twice as good as the you know Xbox ones and then the teraflops and so when you break it down it's not like a gigantic beast thing just because they increase the CPU but it certainly does not hurt at all uh, uh, there were also some other messages that, that were sent to me and I will get to those in one quick second and uh, their marketing officer basically came out and said that uh, the Xbox One would be the biggest undertaking by a wide margin in terms of units shipped at launch and they've already said before that they beat their Xbox 360 pre-orders, uh, which was around I think 700,000 when they when when they no it was around 380,000 when they pre-ordered the system. Theirs is around 700,000 right now, so it, it it is twice as good, and it's not even the system not even out yet. So it could certainly reach a million by that time if they don't find some way to screw it up. Uh, he also went went on to say the Xbox One is really going to shine. And it really will shine if they don't fuck up anymore. Like I would really appreciate a lack of fuck ups. Now, when when I got some of the other messages about some some people saying that Sony screwed up about the whole entire Gaikai thing, that was kind of in between good and bad. Okay, basically they they did come out and and they didn't give up much information at uh, Gamescom about what was going on with the whole entire Gaikai thing. They basically said they that uh, they didn't want to mention it not knowing all the full details and when things were going to be done. But uh, let me read you a, a very important paragraph of this article that I, I did find. And uh, this is a quote from their actual uh, you know, uh, CEO, Jim Ryan. And uh, he went on to say, uh, and it will also happen in, in uh, 2014 in North America. Now I touched upon these issues uh, of broadband 
in Europe during the presentation. Europe is, of course, on the roadmap for those uh, for that service to be deployed at some point in the future. But for reasons outside of our control, we do not yet have a timeline for it. Now, I can't, you know, go off on, you know, the people at Sony or whatever. I know, I know, I know. This is not like a fanboy alert, but you have to read that very important part where it says, uh, for reasons outside of our control, because a lot of areas in Europe do have broadband issues, and you can even look at places like uh, uh, Australia and stuff like that that have really bad internet issues, and you can't release a cloud-based service when people don't have the broadband technology su to support it. And they did say at the whole entire Gamescom that they were going to work with the with some of the major people in Europe or whatever the internet providers to be able to get people, uh, you know, a special limit just for them to play on PlayStation Four. So I can't really just go out and attack them because it's not their fault if they can't release a cloud-based service. And you know, what I'm saying the middle of the boondocks because a lot of places are like historically, you know protected like you go to germany and yes i've been there uh you know everything has to look a certain way and if it doesn't look that way then they're gonna go off on you uh there's there are some good things coming from sony but i will address those in you know my next video that i'm probably gonna do tomorrow where you know sony has has issues you know where they're trying to create a actual uh, vr headset and you know i did watch the video of that a long time ago but they are creating a VR headset, uh, you know, to compete with the Oculus Rift. I don't really know if I really want to have a VR headset. The thought of having something on my head and I can't see shit around me freaks me the fuck out. I don't know if someone's behind me or a serial killer, shit fucking Jason, a dude with a baseball bat. You know, it could be fucking anything. I don't really like the thought of having something on my head not knowing what the fuck is going on. So... I'm not like, ooh, please bring out a virtual reality headset. I was excited about the uh, Illumarum, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Microsoft kind of said uh, that's not going to fucking happen because basically it costs too damn much. So uh, uh, let me give you a quote from uh, uh, Albert Pinello where he said, I wouldn't expect that you'll see that. It's very cool tech, but it's like for a consumer, it requires projectors and things. It's a really, it's really super neat. If you, uh, if you're in a lab and you've got Microsoft money, and you could totally set this up in, in this awesome lab, but we looked at it, and for the average consumers, it's like thousands of dollars. So basically, it's not gonna fucking come out. I was really hoping for that. For all y'all who didn't know what Illumarum was, it's basically like a projector on a wall that you know extends the actual screen. So, like, what you see in your screen is, like, you know, the game. Let's just use Call of Duty. I know, Call of Duty. But, it, let's say Call of Duty. But it would actually show everything around the TV that, that you would have to look up and down to actually see. And I was really excited about that. I really thought it was going to come out, and a lot of other people did. But apparently, that's been mixed. I'm not going to attack them for that because I assumed that it was going to be expensive as fuck. I don't think you could just slap someone in a tiny box and say, hey, this could fucking create a fucking virtual reality house for you. So, I mean, that's pretty much fucked up. Uh, there is good news coming from Sony, though, that uh, Sony might uh, actually be de debuting 10 more games at the Tokyo Game Show uh, later on this month. Whether or not they do that, I would really hope that they would. Pl I love indie games, but please don't let it be all indie games. You gotta throw something else out there. You gotta give us a fucking new title. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they won't screw up between now and the time I wake up because Microsoft has had a tendency for me to wrap myself in my blanket, like I talked about in other videos, to wrap myself in my blanket and then wake up and go, oh, fucked in and fucked up again. So if they can just keep this good trend going, that would be awesome. But if people thought I was going to attack Sony on the Gaikai thing when it's not their broadband fault, I can't really support that right now. But I will come to y'all with videos about what Sony and what Nintendo are going through right now because they're getting dissed again by Bethesda. And I will talk about that uh, tomorrow. So I will holler at y'all later on. That's right. In your face. What you going to say now? We done did something right. Fuck you, Sony. Fuck you, Nintendo. The fuck you gonna say now? We done did good. We done did good. 1.75?
and 1.75 protect you from a fireball, bitch. <laughs>